there there isn't a single invention or phenomenon in the human created cultural world or the knowledge that does not come in initially from the quadrivium from the real world its discovery comes from trying to refine or adapt something that's already there I'm trying to think of a good one here. You go on, I'll find it. There, There is, um, of course, manipulation of existing things. There is natural, call it technologies, right? But is, is it technology when a spider makes a web? No, because it wouldn't be there if it couldn't make a web. So that's natural. What about when the bird uses a branch to pick at ants within the tree, or a twig, sticks a twig in the tree and pulls out ants and whatnot? This is the first example. Birds do that. Some of the first examples of, of, of use of tools, and yes, we are not unique in that. Otters uh, will use stones to open uh, shells, and and monkeys will will use sticks and and things like that. This is this is true that's really where it it differentiate it's when something outside of self is used to apply some sort of function that would be there before but is improved or easier now with the tool hmm. <laughs> we're getting sidetracked a little bit but um what I really wanted to, to express is the fact that, that numbers are real, but they are not human inventions. We all listening? Oh, yeah, but... The, I cut it there? <laughs> no, no, no. Um, well, everyday life has so many things relating to the quadrivium and to this whole thing about adding numbers to our symbol and way of understanding so whether you are mm, playing poker or flipping a coin you are actually using numbers the the nature of numbers in reality and I had a, a few examples right um, in geometry uh, one of the fundamentals, of course, when you get past the whole vectors and stuff, um, is uh, the platonic solids. The, the ideal shapes that everything should be able to be comprised of. Um, and one of the things that, that, that is funny is that I got acquainted with the platonic solids way before I understood what it was. And I think many people do. I, yeah, me too. I have a few props sure. here because um, I've been playing pen and paper role plays uh, since I was about 11 and I've been using That's a lot of trivium right there. A lot <laughs> of uh, of different shaped uh, dice since uh, or die uh, since then um, and everything from the four-sided uh, tetrahedron uh, to uh, the dodecahedron and the octahedron and and then there's one of these uh, I want to show them so people can see well we have uh, mm -hmm. an octahedron yep and we have the tetrahedron and we have the cube the cube a nice little thing Good movie too, actually. Um, yeah. Pay attention, all youngers. This is what people did before the internet. We have the uh, icosahedron and the dodecahedron, also known as the polyhedron, the twenty sides. Yes. And and then we have the the that was actually all of them, right? Mm-hmm. And then we have the bastard child, and that's not a real platonic solid. A ten-sided die is mm. not an actual platonic solid because it is not the because well, oh the the shapes the sides are not 
unilateral. It's not. It's not the same. Sim, same size as it's not symmetrical. So one side, the equal, odd and equal, is not the same as each surface lattice. So the point is that yeah. this is basically a coin with surfaces, mm. uh, yeah. five on each. Uh, so um, they're using, uh, they're, they're taking a, a pentagram and mm. then they are just stretching it. Have you ever seen a, oh, I had it, but I think I gave it away, a 30-sided die? Yeah, that's a, a, a quaint one too. And then we mm -hmm. could get into the whole Buck Minister Fuller and footballs, which is something we've all played with. And that's really when you start doing uh, compositions of different shapes in the plane, which is um, mm -hmm. um, triangles and squares and uh, hexagons and pentagons, right? And pentagons and hexagons, you can make a lot of weird shit with. Uh, and it's really funny. And you can make spheres and shit. Well, the uh, the dodecahedron is is almost spherical, um, but you can expand that even more and make it almost completely round. And then you've got a football, not that type of football, the European one. Um, one that actually works as a ball. The, the the one that's not something that uh, looks like a projectile you're supposed to kill someone with. Um, and was made out of the inflated bladder of a pig. Unfortunate pig called Dennis, I seem to recall. <laughs> First one, anyway. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So, um, so how, how many segues on top of each other was that? That was a few. And, and uh, is that one counting? Uh, and and again, because of the whole statistics, um, and that was how most people started um, experimenting with these. And they were actually older than Plato. Um, there's um, in in Scarabray in in England. They actually found the platonic solids in uh, uh, early Stone Age buildings, um, and uh, that's kind of weird because I think they had all of them, um, and they are at least five thousand years old or something like that. So platonic solids have been around. But for... that would take us into you know a whole other area, which I think we might res well reserve for another time. Um, I mean, going back beyond Plato's Academy. Well, 